so this pan in my ass is called a DOHC vacuum engine. Uh, this engine is kind of long overdue. I actually tried making one of these, um, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago, uh, but it didn't work out because I failed to have supports for these uh, cams. Uh, well, not really actually cams it has the supports for the cams because without them, then the cams would wobble and it wouldn't really run. Um, but something that uh, is, is different about this is that I have this slide throttle right here. Um, this design is copied from Big Z18 because I'm actually new to making these kind of throttles. I usually make the, uh, the tilt valve throttles with just like the lever on the side, but um, I actually discovered that this is actually much better because you can actually adjust the idle um, or the governor, if you'd like to call it, whatever you can call it. Um, but yeah, you can change you can change that so you can get it to idle at different speeds, and you'd still have the same uh, revving opportunities. So, um, uh, so right now it's open, and uh, you can actually put a cover on it, just like this. So, valve train is actually a little bit more protected, um, but it doesn't really do much. It's more just for aesthetic. Uh, but yeah, you got your six by four piston. That's kind of required for this kind of engine because uh, you want to you want to have that spacing for the valves. You have to have a minimum of two studs, or maybe there is you, you can make a four by four piston and you can have a different valve setup maybe, or you can just have like the same size and then still have the four by four piston. I don't know. I haven't tried it. This is my first DOHC engine. Um, I will say. This isn't super reliable um, in sense of timing because I've had um, issues with the timing. That could just be me uh, not having good tension. Uh, this is all I got for tension and that seems to work meh. Um, but yeah, I've had instances where uh, the timing chain would skip and it would fall out of timing and the engine would not uh well it it would run but full throttle if you give it full throttle which is what it runs at um if you give it full throttle then that's it pretty much runs at idle speed if you give it full throttle and uh zero percent throttle it doesn't run so yeah um this engine isn't super reliable but definitely reliable when the timing is actually on time um yeah this thing is really fun to rev it sounds much like a four stroke or some kind of real like go-kart or mini bike engine i like that i like that sound i'm locking on commentary so yeah there's not really much else to talk about if you want to learn more about this engine go check out 747 techniques and kf plus's video and with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video.